Profiles of Pioneers Taking the Mortgage Business to the Next Level. An Inside Look at the Future Leaders of the Mortgage Industry. Sponsored by Angel Oak Mortgage Solutions. Hello, my name is Tom Hutchins, Senior Vice President with Angel Oak Mortgage Solutions. We're excited to bring you today's show, The 40 Under 40. Angel Oak has pioneered the new alternative lending, and our unparalleled commitment to service on every loan continues to set us apart. We believe the 40 Under 40 represents the pioneers of the future of our industry, and we hope you enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Sendra, Special Correspondent with the Mortgage News Network. Welcome to the 40 Under 40, sponsored by our great friends over at Angel Oak Mortgage Solutions. Today we have with us Jeff Van Note with Jersey Mortgage. Hi, Jeff, and welcome. Jackie, thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for asking. So we're absolutely excited to have you here. Uh, we know that you have um, achieved a level of success and want to just jump in and get started, ask you some great questions here. So um, can you tell me, how did you start your career? You know, it's funny. I don't know if I actually ever started my career. Um, what had happened was I was going to Fordham University, playing football, and every day I used to walk past the same house in the Bronx. And at the time, back in 2007, you know, anybody could get a mortgage, stated income, stated assets. And I figured, hey, if anyone else could do it, I got a shot at doing it. So I wound up putting a suit and tie on one day, and I drove about an hour out of the way to go to this REMAX office to find the agent that wasn't returning my phone call to try and buy the house. Um, given that I was only 20 years old at the time, I thought by putting on a suit and tie, she would take me more seriously. Um, I walked in. And I had, you know, interned at a mortgage company back you know, in high school and throughout college. So I walked in and said, hey, you know, I'm interested in buying this house and I'm a mortgage guy and I really want to, you know, get into this place. And the realtor had said to me, well, you know, the house is a short sale and it's not really on the market, but we're looking for a mortgage guy. So at, you know, at that time, I kind of said, well, I guess I'm going to be your guy. You know, I don't know much about mortgages, but, you know, I figured I would uh, give it a shot. So that's kind of how I got started. And then from there... You know, just uh, in between classes and football, started going out on the road, working, doing open houses, and kind of just, you know, fell into the industry, I'd put it that way. That's incredible. It's a really exciting story just because, you know, I think sometimes in life we believe that we have everything all planned out. And it's amazing to see that you started your career. Um, you know, it was like you were at the right place at the right time, uh, you know, doing the right thing. So that's, I think, really encouraging to anybody that might, you know, be interested in getting involved in the industry. You know, I, you um, know, I think um, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, everything happens for a reason, right? So yeah, yeah. if you remember back in 2007, 2008, you know, a lot of the industry was exiting the industry. So yes. I kind of say I was perfectly positioned to enter the industry when the competition was running away from the industry. I was running, you know, 100 miles per hour into the industry. Yeah, that's super exciting. I think it also teaches us to, uh, you know, persevere and not always be um, concerned with our, you know, circumstances, what's going on around us. So that's really exciting. Thanks for sharing that. Definitely. Now, um, you know, so many years later, how do you find that you balance your, you know, career life and your personal life? You know, that's a good question. I think that's um, a constant struggle in the entire industry, right? So you go out there, you yeah. work, you know, 60, 70, 80 hours a week, and then <laughs> and you finally think you have five or ten minutes to, you know, let your hair down, throw on the TV, put your legs up, you know, you get a phone call from, you know, your most interesting client or your most uh, educated referral source at 10 o'clock at night to uh, issue a pre-approval or ask if uh, you could do a loan for somebody that doesn't have income, you know, so... It's one of those things that I think the personal and work balance is very important, but I'm not completely sure, given the high demand and clients' expectations, that you really do have a you know personal work balance. You know, I think it's right, very important right. to wake up early in the morning, get the things done that you need to get done, to focus on yourself. Um, but listen, anybody that cares about what they do, work will always be on their mind. Yeah, that's uh, that is so true. That is a, a very very wise statement. And, uh, you know, again, if I can lead into the next question here, you say, you know, get up in the morning, you know, when you're passionate about something, you're just, you're happy to do it. You're happy to, it doesn't actually feel like work, right? It doesn't feel like work. So what are some of the things that you do, your rituals, your habits that you believe leads to, you know, you being so successful? Right. So I, again, I think success is a mindset. I think everyone has a goal to experience different levels of success, right? So you know, waking up in the morning is a success because you woke up. Not everyone has a privilege to wake up in the morning sometimes, right? So true. I think, you know, really the biggest key is going to bed early, 
getting a good night's sleep and waking up the next day and being proactive and getting up out of bed, getting to the gym, you know, hydrating yourself, getting the right nutrients to allow yourself to work efficiently throughout the day and not crash, right? Yeah. Um, I think self-development is also a major, major, major thing people should focus on because the more you're improving yourself, the more your career is going to follow. Um, so I'm big on getting up early, working out, you know, having a good breakfast, getting into the office early, and really handling all the things that need to be done, you know, before the day started. Because, you know, once your phone starts ringing, you get pulled in 500 different directions. It's pretty hard to, you know, maintain focus and, you know, stay on track with what you actually have to get done. Yeah, yeah that's so wise. And I think so, so often we, um, you know, we get so wrapped up in our day that we often don't take care of ourselves. You know, it's one of those challenges. So I think that's really, really great advice. Thanks for sharing. And, um, you know, thanks, yeah. And um, I have to ask you, so uh, I, wanna, I wanna know what you would advise your younger self. Although you are young, um, I wanna know what you would advise Jeff, uh, you know, starting your career way back when in 2007. You know, what advice would you give? I mean, what do you, what do you think you would, you would um, recommend to your younger self? Right, you know, and I'm happy to ask that question. I think, again, you know, it's going to be a long, detailed, winded answer. Um, I think the biggest thing is not giving up, right? You know, we're obviously in a competitive industry. We're in a very scrutinized industry. Um, you know, all eyes in the marketplace are all on us, right? Everyone thinks the mortgage people are bad people. We don't have ethics. We don't have values or morals, right? So I think that in order to give somebody advice on, you know, sticking into the industry or giving myself younger advice, it's really just stay focused on what your goal is, right? Stay focused yeah. on doing what you know how to do and just be consistent. You know, a lot of people lose track of their goals and like staying consistent into what they believe. So, you know, again, as far as like the level of success goes, I don't know where that winds up. I don't know where that ends up. I just believe that you, know, you got to always do the right thing. So the more you do the right thing, the more you're going to position yourself to be successful down the road. But um, for any listen, for anybody new coming in the industry, don't yeah. give up and learn as much as possible. You know, the way I, I learned, but, you know, being around successful loan officers, guys you want to be like, you know, role models, pick three or four people you want to emulate and take all of their good qualities and what they do that you want to kind of be like at the end of your career, towards the end of your career. And just follow their success, you know, latch on to somebody, be a sponge and just, you know, follow their lead and then you'll never know where you're ever going to end up. So great. I love that. Be, uh, you said, be focused, be consistent, uh, persevere. I think that's all really, really great advice and super encouraging to anybody that is interested, you know, in potentially, uh, you know, jumping into the field that, um, you know, you and I love so much. Right. Yeah, so thank you so much for uh, sharing all the great answers that you had with us today. I mean, it's really exciting to just see that, you know, um, you're focused on always doing the right thing. I think that's really, really important um, in a world where a lot of times people will, you know, walk away from certain values and certain ethics. I, I think that's really, really encouraging. So thanks so much for being with us. Uh, Jeff Van Note, yeah, Jeff Van Note with Jersey Mortgage. And uh, I'm Jacqueline Sendra with the Mortgage News Network. And thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Angel Oak Mortgage Solutions is the fastest growing non-QM lender in the country. And if you've done business with us, you know why. Angel Oak has brought back responsible, common sense lending to the business, and lenders everywhere are seeing their businesses grow by teaming up with Angel Oak. Check us out online at angeloakms.com. That's angeloakms.com and make it a great day. This is Mortgage News Network.